Just got on the creek trail, 7.45 in the morning, and the heat is heating up. Yesterday, it was over 100 degrees out, and today it's supposed to be a little less, but right now it seems like it's gonna be a scorcher. So I gotta go hit up my newly found trash pile that's floating in the middle of the creek, and uh, hopefully I can get in and get out. It's called pedal in, paddle out. The pavement ends and the dirt begins. I'm already sweating and I haven't even started yet. Dealing with some seriously swampy situations. Suck your boot right off your foot. Last but not least, the important piece, the paddle. Can't get upstream without it. Got my gear all staged up, ready to paddle out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to listen to this tractor driving around in this vineyard over a couple fields over. Noise pollution. It's always airplanes or tractors. I'm down here in the swamp area and I'm trying to make a small footprint. There's a lot of little tree frogs jumping around. And I saw some tadpoles for uh, bullfrog tadpoles. I don't see those very often for how often I'm in the creek. I really think that's a real indicator species. So it's really, really nice to see those. I'm trying not to step on any little frogs jumping around. I'm trying very hard because I love little frogs. They make me happy. Put a smile on my face. Little frogs. Let's go see how much trash I can get out of here. It's time to go. This is a floating debris field that I found a couple weeks ago when I was out here for the unplanned cleanup video. So I'm gonna hit up this and get out as much as I can. And I can see this has got some depth to it. And there's gonna be some stuff I can't reach today. So I'm trying to get in and get out because it's supposed to be super hot today. And I just don't feel like busting my back trying to get everything out. So I might have to come back, plan another trip. But I know for sure I'll get a lot of this out. There is a lot here. Last time I took my kayak out, I had a few concerned viewers. I was wearing my hip waders in my kayak. I know that's like wearing concrete shoes. And it's not a good idea. I needed some rubber armor because the stuff along the banks is real ferocious. Uh, today I got shorter rubber boots on. But the water here is pretty shallow, and I'd just like you to know that. I could probably do this if I had hip waders, but kayaks probably get a little better uh, advantage, and it's kind of fun. I want to have a little fun when I'm getting this trash out. When I'm all pissed off about this trash, have a little fun getting it out. One thing that's becoming clear is how thick this debris jam is. Can't really get this kayak to cut through it very good. So kind of clearing out some logs and stuff and trying to get in there, but it's it's hard going. Good 
all that in there. Bone case cleaner, it's a full bottle. Very toxic for a water system. Fragile water system. That's a full can. Oh my god, it's leaking. Maybe it already leaked out. Still the water, who knows? Got my first full sack. I gotta go stage it back at the landing spot and come back and hit this up some more. Making some headway through this thick debris. Finally over to this little cluster I've been trying to get for the last like 20 minutes, trying to get to this spot. So I'm paddling through this stuff. It's pushing my way through all that over there. Trying to get to this stuff right here. Made some pretty good progress behind me. Cut my way through this stuff. My second sack is almost full. Now I have to go stage it. So then I'm wondering if I cut through this stuff to get back out of here because it's really thick if I can get back into the spot that I'm at now because I'm getting close to the stuff but my sack's getting full. You've always got some kind of dilemma you got to deal with. Second bag is full. Got to go stage it right now. No room for anything else. Then come back out through all this thick debris. Heading back out for sack three. The one good thing about log jams, it's a pretty good block for the trash kind of holds it back from uh, advancing. You got to go from log jam to log jam, picking up the trash. There is so much styrofoam in this water. It's, it's super concentrated with styrofoam. Just like, I've just been picking it out, like all this kind of stuff. It's endless. I can't get it all. I know that. I'm gonna get out quite a bit, but sometimes I turn a blind eye to it too because I'm like, can't stay here all day just picking the styrofoam out of here. But it can't be here either. It's, it's like that. I mean, this is one little example, but it's really thick, thick of styrofoam. That's probably worldwide, too. Just got to point out this tennis ball I just pulled out of this floating, growing stuff here. Sitting right here, I pulled it out. Actually, I had to wiggle it free. All these roots. This thing was growing into this stuff. Wilson! This is my new friend. Finally making some headway back up in this and there are spiders all over the place. <sighs> Just crawling on me. One got up my shorts. I kind of panicked and slapped it out and it ran across the water. I'll skeeter it away. Finally getting up in this area. Just gonna get this trash out and do a little tidy up work and then head on out. Even if I had to paddle by some trash, I might just have to leave it today. It'll probably still be here when I come back at a later time. 
All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Got my third sack. It's full. Made it all the way to this spot. And that's what I was trying to do. Did it. Now let's get the heck out of here. After a few hours of work in here, three sacks of trash, calling it good. I still see some styrofoam and a couple lighters and some balls, but I'll come back and get that later. Balls, lighters, and little mini liquor bottles. All the rest of the crap and a lot of styrofoam. All this came from the creek right over here. Down there is where I was kayaking to get all this trash out earlier. Can't access it from here. It's all blackberry bushes and steep. Yuba Spicy Curry loaded the bike trailer. Had three sacks of trash, broke it down to five sacks to get a lower sack height so I could fit it underneath the uh, kayak there that trailer is pretty loaded down it's pretty got about a mile of dirt road with potholes in it hopefully all my little gadgetry and stuff that I've created holds up because this trailer's I don't know what it's rated for I have no idea got a lot of welds hopefully they all hold up It's not a bike, it's a truck. Heading on out of here.